and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marin and here you will find a little beauty, a little books, and a little teaching content. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and join me in my little corner of YouTube. As you can see from the wheel behind me, it is time for another round of my Wheel of TBR, this time choosing the books for May. Now a caveat before we even get started, it's going to be slightly different this month. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. So I like to start these TBRs off with like a recap of how I did with the previous month's TBR. However, I am quite behind because if you watched April's Wheel of TBR, you'll know that I did not finish March's TBR because I'd only read four total books. So I'm going to go ahead and start with March and let you know how I'm doing. So the first carryover from March that I had was a book that was published before 2000. For that, I chose Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice, and I have read this. And then the second carryover was a book from my 2024 series TBR. For that, I chose Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken. I am currently reading this. I am almost done. I am on page 408, and I think there's 504 pages. This book also has like a little short story that has not been included anywhere else as far as I know. So I will be reading that as well, but that's not counted in obviously the TBR. So I have about this much left and this will hopefully get done tomorrow which will complete March's TBR. So regardless of if I get it done tomorrow it will be done before the end of the month so March's TBR is finally finished. Now let's talk about April's TBR. So my first pick was a book that was the oldest on my TBR in terms of how long I had been wanting to read it. For that I chose White Cat by Holly Black, which I have not read, but my hope is to start this before the end of the month and potentially get done with it. It's not very long. The audiobook is also not very long, so hopefully this one will get done before May, but if not, it's gonna roll over. Next up, I needed a book with a building on the cover. For that, I chose Expiration Dates by Rebecca Searle, which I did read. The next prompt was a paranormal book. For that, I chose Akata Witch by Nnedi Okorafor, which I have not read. Then I had to do a TBR jar forfeit because I landed on the same space of my wheel two times, and I pulled out The Blackwoods by Brandy Colbert, which I, you guessed it, have not read. And the final pick was a nonfiction book. For that, I chose The Poison King by Adrian Mayer, which I did read. So I am obviously still behind on my wheel of TBRs. So because of that, I am going to be a little bit easier on myself this month. And instead of spinning the wheel five times like I normally would, I am only going to spin it three times. I also am going to do away with the TBR jar forfeit rule just for this month because I have have I believe something like 12 books that I still need to read and that's not including anything that comes off this wheel that I can't match to a book that I already need to read so um the list is already kind of lengthy I need to go easier on myself this is also the final month of the school year so there is a lot going on in terms of my job I have to do inventory on all of the books in the library get things packed up for summer and all of that so I need this to be a little bit easier so we'll be doing three spins instead of five. In June I will go back to my normal TBR and hopefully everything that I was needing to read from previous months will actually be finished so we'll cross our fingers. Okay so with all of that out of the way let's go ahead and do spin number one. Okay, so we have new release. I know what I'm going to pick. It's on hold from the library. So let me pull up the information about it so we can chat about it. So the book I'm going to choose for new release is Night Watching by Tracy Sierra. This was actually the April pick for the Literally Dead book club, but I've been waiting for the hold to come in for over a month so it is supposed to be coming to me within the next two weeks so I should finally be able to get it read but this book was released on February 6th 2024 definitely a new release so that's what I'm gonna pick because I needed to read it anyway so we're off to a good start let's hope that that continues okay I'm gonna replace new release with a book with a school setting and now it's time 
for spin number two. Okay, very helpful. This is a book from my 2024 series list. This is perfect because the final book support group is doing another round of the readathon in May. If you aren't familiar with the final book support group, it is hosted by Steph over at Steph Loves. I will leave a link to her first announcement video down below so you can kind of get the gist of it. But there is a long weekend edition the first weekend in May. So let me see which of my books I want to do for that readathon. So the book I'm going to go ahead and choose for 2024 series TBR is Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. This is the first book in the Hex Hall series. I want to finish the entire series this year. So this is going to be the book that I put on for this prompt. It's perfect. It's very short. It'll be a reread. So hopefully it will go very quickly. Now I do not replace this prompt. This prompt stays on the wheel all year. So let's go ahead and do the final spin. Spin number three. And we've landed on the same prompt. So let me see which book I want to do for this. I might do one of the duologies I want to finish. Let me take a look. All right, for this, I'm going to go with a final book in a duology, and I am going to read A Fire Endless by Rebecca Ross. This is the second and final book in the Elements of Cadence duology. I read the first one last year, quite enjoyed it. That one was A River Enchanted, so I'm looking forward to reading this one. It'll cross off a series from my TBR for 2024, which will be very helpful because I have not made a lot of progress on that series TBR. So that's what I'm going to go with for this one. And this has gone better than I was expecting. So let me tempt fate and do a fourth spin just to see what it gets me because these are books that I was kind of planning on reading anyway this month. So let's see what else I can get from the wheel. Okay, school setting definitely can probably do that. Let me see what I want to pick for that. Okay, I'm actually just going to go ahead and do the second book in the Hex Hall series as well, which is Demon Glass, because it is a school setting. This is following a witch named Sophie. And again, it's on my 2024 series TBR. So it might be nice to tackle two in one month. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the list, Demon Glass, and hopefully I will enjoy it. Again, I'll be reading Hex Hall as a like refresh because I don't remember a ton about that one, but I have heard that this is a great series. So I'm looking forward to reading the second book as well. Okay, um, do I tempt fate with a fifth spin? I think I'm going to go ahead and do it with the caveat that I obviously may not get to this book, but what the heck, we'll just do the five spins as normal. And we'll see what this gets me. So I do need to change out school setting because that is not a prompt that stays on the wheel. Okay, so let's replace it with a series continuation. And let's just go ahead and go for it. Spin number five. Okay, new to me author, definitely doable. Let me see what I want to do for that. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to go with the May pick for the Literally Dead Book Club, which is Sisters of the Lost Nation by Nick Medina. I have not read anything by Nick Medina before. Not even sure if he's written anything. This might actually be a debut. I wanted to read it anyway, needed to read it anyway, so it doesn't hurt to put it on this list. So that will be the final book for May's TBR. Okay, so let's go ahead, replace new to me author, just to get it ready for next month. And we will do starts with M. M is the first letter in my name, which is why I went with that letter. So there we go. That's the final prompt. So let's talk about other books that I'm hoping to get to this month, because as I said, there's a few of them. Okay, so other books that I'm hoping to get to, aside from the carryovers from April, obviously, I still need to read Little Women, which was my classics pick for March and April. I didn't read it, so 
I need to read that one. I also need to read my buzzword picks from April and now May. So for April, the book was Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. This is also a book from my 24 and 2024, so it would check off two things that I need to do. For May, the buzzword is to have the word every in the title. So for that, I am going to read Every Falling Star, the true story of how I survived and escaped North Korea. This was written by Sunju Lee and Susan Elizabeth McClelland. It is a nonfiction biography. I think it's a YA book. I'm not really sure. But it says, Every Falling Star, the first book to portray contemporary North Korea to a young audience, is the intense memoir of a North Korean boy named Sunju who is forced at age 12 to live on the streets and fend for himself. To survive, Sunju creates a gang and lives by thieving, fighting, begging, and stealing rides on cargo trains. Sunju richly recreates his scabrous story, depicting what it was like for a boy alone to create a new family with his gang, his brothers, to be hungry and to fear arrest, imprisonment, and even execution. This riveting memoir allows young readers to learn about other cultures where freedoms they take for granted do not exist. So actually, it sounds like that's middle grade. But anyway, that's the book I need to read for... M I keep wanting to say March. No, for May. So... That's both of the buzzwords there. I also try to read two 24 and 2024 20, books each month. I did not read any in April because I am behind. And I also do not have any on this month's TBR. So I'm not sure which ones I'm going to pick. They're going to be shorter ones, obviously. So you will have to kind of just stay tuned for my wrap up to see how I do with that. And the other thing that I want to read is a graphic novel version of Homicide Life on the Street by what's his name? something Simon. David Simon, I think. But this is a graphic novel version of the actual adult book, and I love Homicide Life on the Street. It's one of my all-time favorite TV shows, so I'm looking forward to reading that as well. It's been sitting here for a while, and I haven't read it yet, so that I need to read as well. And if you have been following along with these TBRs, you know that I created a list of classics that I wanted to read this year and a list of nonfiction books that I wanted to read this year. I gave myself two months for both of them. So the picks for May and June are Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. That is the classics pick, obviously. And then the nonfiction pick is The Radium Girls by Kate Moore. Now, obviously looking at my TBR right now, it seems unlikely that I'm going to actually read them in May. So they will probably get read in June, but I did want to mention them nonetheless, just in case I happen to squeeze them in this month. Seems unlikely, but we'll give it a go. And finally, the other thing that I try to do is read a book of the month book each month. And I did not read a book of the month book in April. So that will give me two of them that I technically would need to read to stay on top of that goal. I don't know which ones I'm going to pick. I do. I'm kind of eyeing The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Choksi. Is that who wrote it? And then I also have The Connellys of County Down by Tracy Lang. Both of those are quite short, which is why I'm kind of gravitating towards them. So we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> what the heck? Let's just add a lot to my plate. Why not? Um, yeah, that's all I've got for you. So let's go ahead and just recap the actual prompts for May. And then we'll close out this video. So my first spin gave me new release. I picked Night Watching by Tracy Sierra. Second spin was a 2024 series TBR book. So I picked Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. The third spin was another 2024 series book, so I picked A Fire Endless by Rebecca Ross. The next spin gave me School Setting. For that, I chose Demon Glass by Rachel Hawkins. And finally, new to me author, I chose Sisters of the Lost Nation by Nick Medina. So that's the TBR. We will see how I do. Obviously, I will do a recap at the beginning of June's TBR, and maybe I will surprise myself and actually get all of these books read. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming along. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.